What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another uh, easy modification how-to video on JDS Outdoors. My name is John and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to run this, one of these, or pretty much any uh, portable depth finder, or these LED light strips that you put in your uh, ice house, your tent, hunting shack, anywhere you need portable lights off of one of these. So how are we going to do that? Very simple. Using nothing more than an adapter and a couple chunks of wire with uh, the five millimeter plugins that plug together. There's a male and female, so you can uh, pick which one you want to use and run a multitude of different 12 volt items. So this battery adapter is a, it's an off brand. So DeWalt has one of these, Milwaukee also has some, and then there's plenty in the aftermarket um, to choose from. But DeWalt's brand doesn't have this 12 volt port on the side. So I went ahead and ordered this off brand one and it's fairly inexpensive on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description for everything. But it comes with an adapter so you can put your positive and negative wire in for um, your, your depth finder situations like that. It comes with a cord, a male to male cord, and it comes with your adapter, which also has USBs on it. So if you don't want to carry your power box around but you want USB power, you can still have that option with this. It, it's, it's awesome. You can even run your power box off of this, which Speaking of power boxes, since I have one of the most popular power box videos on YouTube, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to do something a little special. Using this is very simple. You just hook up your battery. It's got LED lights on the top, shows you your state of charge, and you're good to go. You can go ahead and put your USB in to charge your phone or install your wires in the side, your jack, and, and you're good to go. 5.2 millimeter output 12 volt so how is this going to run all of your accessories let me show you take the vexlar for example this uh this is just a simple uh flx 28 um i've had it for many years it it works great it's actually got the original battery in it um but batteries die and carrying batteries with for your cordless drills are becoming more and more popular because more and more people are using cordless drills to auger their holes in their ice houses. But this is not just for ice fishing. I will explain. We're gonna start with this. So in the bottom of the Vexlar, there is two screws and a door that you just pop off. And it gives you access to your battery cover or your battery. Inside the Pro Pack here, or Ultra Pack, I'm not sure which one this is to be honest with you. It has uh, these two, these two little um, connectors that go directly to the posts. We want to do a clean install on this, so what we're going to do is, being that the kit for the battery, this piece comes with a cord. We're going to install a female outlet and hook directly up to this, and it's really as simple as this. You just feed this plug through the hole, routing it right next to where your charger plug is, and installing a couple spade connectors on the end. Once you have your spade connectors installed, it's literally plug and play. Negative to negative, positive to positive. So this next section, I'm gonna leave the battery unhooked so you can see exactly how well this thing works. So back side of the unit, we have our jack that we just installed. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Come around to the front, jack on the side there, plug that in. And there we have it. The unit powers right up. And you can see the on-off switch is off. 
It doesn't matter what position it's in because there is no battery. It is running strictly off of this DeWalt flex volt battery. That is pretty neat. And everything tucks out of the way nice and neat. And you can't even tell that anything was ever done to get that to get that to work. So that's one cool little thing you can do with this awesome adapter. And remember, they also make this for Milwaukee. I believe Rigid has one too, but I know Milwaukee does. For all you kayak fishermen, the guys who like to fish with inflatables, situations like that, this one's for you. The guys who like to travel light. You have your depth finder, but you don't want to carry around a big old honking battery to power it. Use your DeWalt. Plug it right in with the use of the, uh, the pigtail and a couple spade connectors. You can also heat shrink and solder this together should you wish. So since I don't have the transducer hooked up, it's just in demo mode. This is my uh, Hummingbird Helix 7 Generation 3 Mega SI. And it's an awesome little unit. But if you guys run this in your kayak, your small fishing boat, anything like that, light portable power right here without having to carry around a big honking battery. Simply awesome. You don't just have to use the flex volt batteries either. It will also run off of your standard DeWalt regular 20 volt batteries. It's simple as that. I mean, this weighs nothing. It's amazing. Now say you're out camping and you don't want to carry a power box with you. You don't want to carry a lantern. Say you're out ice fishing at night. Same situation. Don't want to carry a lantern. Power box. Stuff like that. But you still want to be able to charge your phone and run lights. No worries. With nothing more than your LED light strips that you got hanging from the ceiling, your 20 volt battery, the supplied cord, and the supplied fitting, you plug it together, and you have lights. I mean, it's so small, compact, and portable, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not sponsored by any of this. I just saw this, and I thought that was uh, slicker than heck, so figured I would share what I found with you guys. Now, if you want to use those smaller portable ice fishing units or regular fishing units like the Garmin Striker Force, you can go ahead and mount that sucker right to the top of this. It'll stick right on there, run your power cord right up to the back, put a little handle on it. It, it doesn't get no more compact than that. Um, so yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you found this information a little bit helpful. I will leave a link in the description for everything you see here for the batteries uh the dewalt converter the milwaukee one as well because milwaukee is an option i just don't have anything red here um for your 5.2 millimeter um, jacks so you can use that to plug into your your vexlar your helix your hummingbird your markhams your aquaview cameras your kayak i mean you can power your uh, navigation lights on small boats. Literally, the, the sky's the limit, guys. Absolutely the limit. Um, and for those of you that have made it to this point in the video, first of all, I wanna thank you for sticking with me to this point in the video. If you've ever seen any of my other videos, especially my power box video, I have the most viewed video on YouTube on power boxes. So with your guys' views and support, I wouldn't have been able to reach that point without you guys. So also thanks for doing that. But on that video, I get a lot of comments with people asking if I would sell a power box to them or ship it or whatever. But unfortunately I don't sell those power boxes. So I wanna do something special. My channel has been growing at a pretty good rate so far this year and actually over the last couple of years, but this year specifically it's been growing pretty good. So I've set a goal for myself. By the end of 2021, I would like to be at 50,000 subscribers. So, if you want a chance at a power box, this is your chance. If I reach 50,000 subscribers by December 31st, I will pick one lucky commenter down below and give you one of my power boxes, which is shown right here, for absolutely free. And then I will let you pick what do you want it to run off of. Do you want it to run off of a regular... Uh, 
12 volt uh, sealed lead acid or lithium type battery? Do you want it to run off of a Milwaukee battery, a DeWalt battery, etc.? You pick, I'll build it and ship it to you anywhere in the world absolutely free. But there's no batteries included because you can't ship batteries international. You'll have to supply your own batteries, but it'll be plug and play. Nice and easy. So all you gotta do is leave a comment on this, share it if you want, make sure you're subscribed, and that's it. When I reach 50,000, I'll use one of them random generator thingies to pick a comment, and you'll be the winner. So, help me with my goal, guys. If you find any of this information helpful, it's pretty easy. Also, working on some other projects, like uh, building my own jet boat from scratch, uh, all kinds of random things on this channel. So, as always, thank you for watching JDS Outdoors. Enjoy the outro of some of last year's projects. Thanks again.